I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Bitch, that bitch was hella toxic. Was hella I keep toxic. that pistol on me, person. I ain't in a boxer. I keep that pistol on me, person. I ain't in a boxer. But I hit hard like Javante to Davis. Suckers catch me lacking, yeah, they plotting on making me famous. They go slap this when I die and say that little bro gang. And my ops know what time it is. They say that little bro dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. I don't really want to um, sensationalize this or have an intro or, you know, be as energetic as I normally would be in some blogs. Um, salute to my guy Showtime SP, salute to everybody who watches this content. So, there's a video circulating, you know, of, of Avocado, and he's with a guy named 24-7, and they're having an interview where they're talking about black people. Like, basically, they're talking about black parenting, they're talking about Shotgun Shook, they talked about Verb. Verb went crazy about it. I got what Verb had to say in response to it. Um, I'm going to play that. Hey, I don't know what the fuck made you get so comfortable to play with me, though, about some shit like that. Let me tell you something. Now, look, on stage, you can play with me any time the way you want. But when it comes to fatherhood, don't ever play with me, white boy, in your motherfucking life. Because you're not capable of understanding what this shit is out here, boy. See, the thing is with us, I chose to stay and raise mine. I could have got further in my career faster, but I chose to stay here and become a father and make sure that mines make it. Because, see, look, my two oldest sons, 17 18, they never, they have never been in handcuffs. Every school, they know me first, last name. How you doing, Mr. Duncan? All the time. Don't ever fucking play. I look, I don't play about that kind of shit, punk ass white boy. You better watch your motherfucking mouth. Because you're not going to put that tag on nobody over here. Only one of mine ain't with me. Everybody else in the house. Stop fucking playing with me. I don't know what kind of shit you on, but that shit will get your motherfucking head cracked open, man. Stop fucking playing with me, boy. We not doing that. We not doing that. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. And, now, and, and keep your number, nigga. I don't want your motherfucking number, nigga. Don't ever play with me. And I, I, I'm going to be honest, like this whole week or so, a lot of the battle rap culture, a lot of people been riding for avocado with the whole caffeine thing. And now this video surfaces and while it is tasteless, you know, it's a tasteless video that basically sensationalizes the fact that black people or URL battlers are bad parents, you know, and I... I I see it on Don't Flop, and I was talking to my guy Showtime SP, and he was basically like, Don't Flop has had a lot of different scenarios where white battlers have used the N-word or uh, different things that, that teeter-tottered along the lines of racism have happened. And Av spoke on it too. He said, if you're a blogger that has ever mentioned anything that happened with one of us, you need to run your f***ing mouth. You need to talk about this. And I think that it has to be spoke about, you know what I mean? Like, you, Avocado came from King of the Dot. A lot of people know that. Came from King of the Dot, made his name on King of the Dot, but got big doing URL battles, you know? Like, he, I mean, he was big already, but he got bigger. And now that the merger happened, you see um, URL go one way, and Avocado is now, you know, not part of the, the deal. Ca Caffeine basically kicked him out of the whip. And now this video surfaces at would never be such a good time because you have everything going on in the world. You have Jacob Blake, you have the other guy in um, Wisconsin who just fired and killed two people. And now you have this video. And while Avocado was not leading the conversation, he wasn't doing anything to stop what was going on. He was humming and chumming, he was cheering, and he was basically just going along with this whole racist narr narration. Now, racism is things that are being done systematically to oppress another culture or another race. Basically not giving people jobs, you know, uh, making sure that they, the housing, different things like that could be attributed to racism based off the color of, of, a, of, a, of a certain person. Now racist are people that commit these acts that lead to racism. Now when I look at it from the perspective of people ask, is Avocado a racist? Is he racist? Is he racist? He was part of a racist situation because those guys right there, they don't like black people. They mentioned, oh, white black people ain't going to watch this. The black guys aren't going to watch this channel. Overall, is he racist? You know, that's yet to be determined. But what I will say is the video is trash. 
Um, he apologized for it, but a lot of people are saying he's only apologized because this video came out. But um, now it's like, where do a lot of artists are hot? Like Verb is on fire about it. You seen what Verb had to say? He basically was like, "No, I don't want your number. I don't want your apology. I don't want shit." Give me your address so I can mail you the L. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh well, go to hell, I'll mail you the L. Um, battle rap, like what people need to understand, and I said this in the video earlier, you know, people looked at it like URL and him, like they owed him so much. They, URL only went to take Avocado to make King of the Dot fail. That's the, oh, let's be, let's be for real. What can we do to take away from your league? So they went and got him to take away. Bring him over here now you see where King of the Dot is at. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but they ain't really like they are no more. And now you got this video of Avocado. And I, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people that's not going to fuck with you no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the whole brand. You got Ruin Your Day. You got the merchandise and all this other shit. But there's going to be a lot of people that's just not going to rock with what you got going on. Because when it deals with race... When you, you know what I'm saying, racial statements and things like that. Let them guys 24-7 and the other cat, they were way too comfortable in what they were talking about. Like these guys, and if and if this is what came out, just imagine the things that are said when no cameras on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. And are now a lot, and this video probably got sent to me about 10, 15 times today. It, it kept coming back. People kept sending it, sending it, sending it. And here's the deal, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. There's nobody perfect in this world. We've all done dumb shit in our life. But when it comes to race, you're profiting off of a culture that's facilitated and angled and geared towards urban communities. That's going to be the issue because people are going to look at it like, if you feel this way or felt this way about African Americans, as far as being on URL, like he talked about Shotgun Shug, saying he looked like melted cheese. Shotgun Shug done lost weight now, so you know this video ain't, it ain't relevant to what he got going on now. But when I was talking to Showtime SP, I said, when this video gets into the hands of the artists who were talked about, they gonna go fucking crazy. I knew it was not gonna sit well. A lot of artists have spoken on it. A lot of artists are taking to the internet and they're talking heavy about not rocking with what he said, you know what I mean? And I think Verb, as a parent, you know, Verb has multiple kids, and to have someone say something like this, surface, it doesn't matter if it's surface now, five years from now, 10 years from now, somebody's gonna feel a way, especially as a parent. Like my children, they live with me, I see them every day. And to have someone discredit that, it, it, it makes you feel some type of way. And so, Norb's even, Norbs of all people fired back. Yesterday, Norb said he was in LA. He asked, how could he get on Ruin Your Day? Avocado said, no thanks. Avocado posts his apology. Norbs re replies back with the same, no thanks. It's, it, this is what happens now, you know? So now let's see if the energy is gonna be the same as far as the caffeine deal not going through or him not being there. People are gonna be like, they don't really care. And a lot of people have been saying that this is the energy that people should have had for Twiz, but you see what, with Twiz, he was in and out of the situation for with URL for years anyway, so I don't even really know where he stands with them. But the video did surface. I'm not gonna um, put the video in here. It's on. Um, it, it, there is the whole video is available online. I'm pretty sure if you just go on YouTube and put Avocado Exposed, it'll pop up and um, people will be talking about it. Um, but what I will say is, in this day and age and in this culture. They could look at him like a culture vulture now because it's like you're profiting, like I said earlier in this video, off of the black culture. If you don't, if that's how you feel or felt, you know, it's crazy. Because black people are very good parents. Don't let the knock or any negative connotation lead you to feel like we don't handle our business. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have struggled at some point in our lives, but we, a lot of us are handling our business. A lot of us are working hard working, making ends meet, and taking care of our family and our kids, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be honest, like it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. The, I, I see you put up the, the tweets or whatever the case may be, but there's a lot of people, especially Averb, who's not buying into it and he he was not feeling what you were saying. So um you already know what it doing, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was, man. Like I said, 
Um, salute to all of my African Americans, all my minorities out here. You know what I'm saying? I was, I'm born black. I'm living black. I'm going to die black, and hopefully I don't die because I'm black. You know what I mean? Um, salute to my guy Showtime SP. Uh, people have been asking to talk about this. You know, we talk about everything else that goes on in the popular battle rap culture, so this has to be addressed too. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't pick and choose when when we can talk about a subject and when we cannot talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Avo. I got one for you, you know what I'm saying? You ruined our day with this one. Um, but it is what it is. Salute to y'all, man. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be more to come. I'm out of here. Gang. I ain't in a boxer. I, I keep that pistol on me person. I ain't in a boxer. I am not. But I hit hard like Javante to Davis Suckers catch me lacking, yet ain't plotting on making me famous They gon' slap this when I die and say That little bro gang and my ops know what time it is They say that little bro dangerous I'm well invested in the click, on God and they love me Fall and skip successful trips if you made it, you lucky Bitch, I ain't rolling shit, I'm a thug when it's funky My bitch say I act the ass, my nickname should be Donkey